And what is going on is this. We've become very unstable. We had that sunshine for a while and the temperature rose like crazy. Both temperatures and humidity levels are running higher, frankly, than our computer models expected. And that sets the stage for the severe weather. But without the other ingredient, we're not quite ready yet. That ingredient is coming in from Mississippi a bit later on. And that will be the turn in the low level jet stream that will create conditions so that storms can start rotating. And that's why we think then will be the chance of tornadoes that will start over our western counties between about 430 and 5. Mary and Lamar may get to Interstate 65 somewhere around, uh, let's say 630 or 7 over the eastern part of the area, probably around 9 or 930. What do we expect? Severe storms with very large hail and probably a few tornadoes and a couple of those may be strong. Time frame from 430 overall to 11 o'clock tonight have three ways to get weather information just in case the power should go off or you might just have a device that stops working. We think the highest threat, there's a threat pretty much everywhere, but we think the highest threat is basically from I-2059 on northward. That seems to be where everything comes together. The wind shear as well as the instability really comes together. And this is really going to start pretty quickly, pretty early, probably around 430 in our western counties and marching eastward from there. Very likely we'll see some tornadoes with this. I don't know that the coverage will be all that tremendous. That is, I think there'll be a lot of space between storms. But nonetheless, a serious situation, no doubt about that, and potentially a life threatening situation. So keep in mind, keep just think about a little bit where your safe place is. You want to think about that ahead of time. And by all means, consider the smaller rooms and especially the lower places. You have something like this, a basement that's basically underground. That is terrific. Nothing safer than that or a storm shelter that might be underground or a reinforced storm shelter, which is like a walk in closet. And if you can't, if you don't have a lower floor, then get to some small space like this interior room here that has walls all around it. The more walls you can put between you and the outside wall, the better. Think low, think small, stay away from the windows. That old device about opening windows just won't make any difference whatsoever.